if you're getting the error E298 on your Google Nest here, well, there are a few ways to fix this and also some reasons why it's happening. So first is we want to go and discuss why the error is actually appearing on your Google Nest. So the error E298 means the Nest thermostat isn't getting steady power. So this can happen for different reasons, like from loose wiring or to an electrical fault here. So what do we need to do? So first is you want to look at the circuit breaker or fuse uh, first. So a tripped breaker or a blown fuse can cut the power to your thermostat and trigger this error. So head to the electrical panel, reset the breaker if it's off, or replace any damaged fuse before checking anything else. And also, you may want to confirm the C-Wire connection. So the Nest depends on the C-Wire for constant power. So remove the thermostat display and check if the wire is seated properly in the C-Terminal. Now, if it's missing, loose, or mislabeled, the thermostat won't power correctly. So install or reattach the wire if needed. Now, also, you may want to recheck all wirings, uh, all wiring links here. So even if the C wire looks fine, other connections might be the issue. So compare your setup with the Nest wiring diagram and make sure each wire is in the correct terminal and firmly clipped down. Loose or misplaced wires often cause power interruptions. And also, you may want to power cycle the HVAC system here. Now, after adjusting the wiring or uh, the wire adjusting wire or the breaker, turn the HVAC system fully off. Wait a minute here, then power it back on. Then this resets the system and allows the thermostat to reconnect to a stable power source. And finally, you may want to reinstall the thermostat display. So attach the Nest back on onto its base and power up the breaker again. If everything is connected properly, the error should disappear and the screen should light up as normal. And that's about it. Hopefully this video is able to help you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.